Liz Patrick is an Emmy nominee for Saturday Night Live and a seven-time daytime Emmy Award winner for the Ellen DeGeneres show. Uh, Liz, I, I'm, I'm so happy to talk to you. There were so many incredible episodes of SNL this season, but uh, the one hosted by Steve Martin and Martin Short, I think, is one a standout for for viewers. And I guess for you, what were these are two SNL legends, right? In, in different ways. What was what were the first conversations you had with them about you know hosting? I guess when they came back. You know what? It's like it's like a dream come true. I like I grew up watching this show. My brother's five years older, so I think I I was exposed to it a little earlier than I should have been. <laughs> so my brother, you know, often would play Steve Martin's albums, you know, his comedy albums. He'd be walking around like uh, I'm a wild and crazy guy. So here here it was now at the actual Steve Martin in front of me, and you know Martin Short. I had when I went to I went to Boston University and I went to film school. And one of my first shorts that I did was kind of an homage to one of the um, shorts that Martin had done. It was the synchronized swimming. Um, and classic, yeah. Yeah, a classic. <laughs> so I, I did a spin on that uh, with uh, the art of playing darts. And I kind of used, you know, used that film. Uh, I mean, it was probably 15 years later after, um, used that film as a basis for one of my shorts. So then being in a room with them is like, you know, these are comedy legends. Like you said, they're SNL veterans and they're kind of, you know, some of my comedy heroes. So a little nerve wracking, but it was really fun to see their process and how they also played off of one another because their, their comedy, like th that monologue is so, um, they got into trying to just one up one another. And then they did eulogies on each other. And it was just a, a really cool, cool thing to see. And then, you know, one of the sketches that we did was Father of the Bride part eight, which was which was like, seemed to be like an audience. The audience went crazy when we, when we, when we set that up. And uh, it, it, that was really cool to see. And it was little vignettes, it was a movie trailer. And there were little vignettes and one of the vignettes had been killed uh, right before uh, we did that, before we started that segment for time. And so it's, you know, is there enough time to tell the actors, okay, we're going from this to this, we're skipping this one. So you no longer need to go to this mark because everyone had a different marks for different vignettes. But what an amazing, they are such amazing guys and so talented. And it was an absolute pleasure to work with them. When you're working with like guys who are veterans or hosts who have done this many times before versus a host who maybe is a, a newcomer, how does that change your approach or your, your, you know, like role during that episode, I guess? You know, it's in a way I can, I can sit back a little bit and focus more on where I need to put cameras and, and how I need to cover it. Um, but I guess with a newer, you know, we had somebody like Travis Kelsey who was a football player who I really enjoyed working with. You know, I walked up to him, I introduced myself and he's like, oh, you're my coach for the week. How much fun is this going to be? And it's, he was actually a natural at it. And it's, it's more so, you know, communicating to them, okay, your, your cue cards are always going to be in these positions. When you're talking to this person, you're going to have cards to cheat here. When you're talking to this person, you're going to have cards here. And they don't get to rehearse that um, until Saturday. On Thursday and Friday, we rehearse. We only have one set of cards, but sometimes we'll check eye lines and just give them an idea of of what uh, what to expect. But yeah, sometimes it, every every host has a different process, and whether they are have been exposed to entertainment or not, um, you know, I guess it it plays a role in how much I need to to help them guide them. You know, I feel like our stage managers are, are really good at that too. You know, my eyes and ears on the floor. And uh, they've been there for years. And so they're, they're, you know, amazing at that as well. So it's a, it's a little bit of a team effort to get everybody where we need to be. For, you mentioned like in, in the Martin Troy and Steve Martin one with but that father of the bride sketch, there was like a, some, a moment killed that from that you probably did in rehearsal. Right. I imagine. And yeah. then like, so like, how much are you, how much is what you're doing evolve? Like, I guess, can you even plan it out? But how much are you, it's evolving from rehearsal to the live show that same night? Like how much does your process change like having seen it in rehearsal, like live rehearsal versus like the show, you know? The amount of changes that come through on that show are are quite amazing. I mean, so so the first time I read it is on Wednesday. And I immediately, I have from 10 o'clock to 4 p.m., 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. is usually our read through. And so I begin writing all my notes on how I'd shoot this, where I would shoot it. Do I need a stuntman? Do I need a choreographer? Do I need a trap door? Do I need a breakable window? Two entrances, a staircase. And you, you have to keep in mind, you have 30 to 40 sketches you need to read 
So you, you, you try to give that sketch as much time as you can, knowing it's gonna change, but this is, this is how it's starting. And then Thursday we begin rehearsal and it may have already altered. So there's the first change. And then as you rehearse it with the cast, they may do something new or we might find something else or you know, if it's a topical stick sketch, something may have changed and we need to change it all around completely. But so come Saturday, we, we do a full rehearsal of every sketch. This is the first time that you are almost, that you're seeing the sets that are almost complete. Um, they're pretty, it's, it's amazing when you walk in Saturday morning, you walk out there and everything is painting and people are in the process of painting and taping and doing whatever they need and getting these sets ready for us. It, it, it's a fabulous operation. Um, and so the first time I rehearse it on Saturday, I've already received changes in the morning on something. So I'm sorry, let me slow down. Go backing up. So Friday night, I'm 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 given a bunch of changes. I uh, go through almost watch every sketch again, um, manage those changes, apply them. Saturday morning we rehearse them. Once we rehearse again, a whole another set of changes come for that. Sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small, and then between dress and air is when. Um, I only have, depending on what time we finish uh, dress, I only have like an hour or an hour and a half to manage all those changes. And so sometimes it's like this, this sketch was a hit, this sketch was a hit. I want to get this, this, and this in, and we're pulling chunks of content out and hopefully it doesn't affect blocking. Sometimes it does. Um, sometimes somebody has been added to the sketch and you have to figure out how to, how to get them in and how to cover it. Sorry, that's that amazing. No, that, that's, <laughs> it's it's just like really it got me so it's so complex. I went in that in the uh, in the Martin short and, and Steve Martin one. I think uh, just in general, I mean, I thought the season the weekend updates were really great. I guess and that one I found like really good as well. Like, what are you? What is you like? You know, how do you approach those segments and like, you know, how do you know it's working? I guess for lack of a better word, the for the weekend update or for yeah. any yeah, yeah no for weekend update yeah oh weekend well. Weekend update is is kind of we rehearse it for the first time on Saturday, and we if we have time, sometimes we run out of time, and um, and so Colin and Michael get to hear jokes in the room, and you know people laughing, and then some, and then usually those jokes change um, throughout, and then the features with our different cast members, sometimes we rehearse more than we have time for. Um, and we see which ones played well or which ones can move forward to a different week. But talking about Steve Martin and Martin Short. Um, one of the in that in that uh, episode, one of the best sketches that I enjoyed doing with them was a take on a 1954 uh, film, uh, White Christmas. Great and set. So that was a great sketch. It was amazing, mm -hmm. and the writers came up with an I with the idea um, to do do the train car scene where they sang Snow and you know their own version of it. And um, so, you know, they showed me a clip that evening and I was in design as I was watching the clip. And I'm like, okay, how are we gonna build a train car? I mean, that's not my problem, poor production team, but it is my problem in terms about where we're gonna put it on the floor. How are we gonna fit it? How am I gonna cover it? So when I watched it, I, I tried to mimic or mirror their, their camera angles and how they would shoot something like this. And our video engineer, you know, gave it a 1950s look. And it's always, I, I always enjoy a challenge of trying to make something look or feel like it was in the original. And that's what we did there. And then the, there was an ask to part the car and then create a, a little dance number. And, and that's, that's really hard. <laughs> there's not a lot of space in that studio and there's a lot of sets that are stored and, uh, you know, from going from one sketch to the other. And that in itself is a whole show of, of that choreography of changing over. So it was amazing that we were able to pull it off. And uh, I think it, it, it turned out to be one of the best sketches of that show. And then you have them in, in the bear costumes at the end. Yeah. Yes. Added, uh, added, added wrinkle to that sketch, which I think is really funny. And yes. I was, again, like watching them, like, how do they, how, how do you get them in there so quickly to do that? Right. Because there's not that much turnaround before you're going back. No, there, there wasn't much time and it was, yeah, timing out. We, we cut to James as he was, uh, not the conductor, but one of the train uh, train employees. And uh, and it was, yeah, just the timing. And it, it, you know, we said to James, if we if we need more time, just stretch until we get everybody in uh, because it was, you know, uh, three different people in, in the bear costumes. It's so good. You, when, with that Steve Martin Martin Short, when like, when you have two hosts, does that make your job 
I guess in this case, maybe easier because they're such pros, but I mean, does it make your job easier, harder, I guess, or different at all? Like, you know, having two people as opposed to one. I don't think so. I, I think it pretty much the same. And, and I don't know, to, to your point that they are pros, they're veterans. So like, I always want to hear their ideas and how they want to do something. Cause the first time I read it, I might think of something. And then when they perform it, I'm like, Oh, you're, you're playing it this way or, and then, and then follow their lead and then try to enhance that. Right. It's great. Liz Patrick, we have to wrap up here, but uh, director of SNL, uh, incredible stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you.